Hello, this is Dinosaur Life, episode 2. We've been on the island for two days now, and I haven't really told you about our backstory and how we got here. Well, our plane crashed on the way to Antarctica to go make a documentary on polar bears. Our captain died, so there's no way for us to get back. But the only way we can is by sending these videos to the U.S. Army and all over the, the world to try and see if anyone can help us. But it's not seeming to work, so we might be on the island for a long time. Well, as you know now, well, not as you know, but you remember that Mark was just three when we saw him, but now he's four. Well, we never told you, but Mark has been on the island for like about four years now because his birthday was, is basically today, so that's why he's four. So... Stalking a stegosaurus not too far away. And Razor Fang is not too far away either. Then he quickly dashes through. He scares the Stegosaurus with, with a jump attack. As you can see, the Stegosaurus is in the snow. Well, the Stegosaurus doesn't know where it is right now. But he doesn't know of the danger that's coming. It's in fact. As you can see, Mark and Razor Fang are feasting on the Stegosaurus. You might be asking, you might be asking, where's one of them? Well, funny story. He's died. Yes, one arm is dead. That's Fang. Um, well, Razor Fang and Mark killed him when he least expected it. But what they don't know is that their meal is about to be steal stolen. By whom? By Viona. <laughs> this is a bloody scene. As you can see, Mark and Razor Fang are having frostbites over there. They're very cold. As you can see, the dinosaurs have left the scene. Why? Because they're really cold, and they have went inside a nearby cave, and that's exactly where we're going. Well, we'll tune in. All that is left is is a bunch of bones, but we won't show that. But and blood. Hello. You might be wondering. Where we are now? Yes, we're in the cave. All of this fuzzy things that you're seeing, these are algae. Right. And here, we'll be seeing a new character that we're introducing to this series. His name is Spike. He has also come here. 
for the winter. That is not the only thing. You must be wondering how they've gotten back the carcass. Well, they they tricked they tricked Viona into thinking that they were dead. When when she saw them, she quickly tried to kill them, but then got an attack to the face. Viona is recovering, so there won't be any blood. Plus, we figured out that this algae, once blood comes out of any dinosaur or anything, this algae sucks it up and and uses it as nutrients. Well, that's kind of weird if you ask me. Well, Well, you might be asking what happened to one um, Razor Fang's mate. Well, she still is with Razor Fang. But today is her last, one of her last days. Uh, she has already, she is already, um, gravid with, with eggs. So she will leave Razor Fang. Then Razor Fang has to find a new mate. They now settle down. They're going to sleep. But Spike thinks he can get a bite out of this um, this Stegosaurus. But he's wrong. As he lands down to take, to take up a little of the meat, he wakes. He woke. He woken up. Razor Fang and gets a, a, a shove to the back. He's very hurt, but he doesn't care. He starts moving around. As you can see, nearby the, by the Velociraptor, you can see tri Triumph. He's still fine. Not too far away is Sarah. One thing you don't know about these two is that Sarah has a brother. His name's Leo. Leo sets his own path away from the, the two and now is on a different scale. He's on the south side of the island. A sixty foot long, a sixty foot long Apatosaurus is walking through the algae, not knowing that it's about to be stru struck by. No other than Viona. Dun, 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 dun. And it has no idea. Nor does the baby. It has. It's the baby that is following it. Ow, ow. Viona strikes. Viona gets a sidekick right in her face. She's really hurt, but she cannot afford to to starve. She's been out in the winter for many days, having no food. But she 
knows not to hang around. It might be your father or a mother of this, uh, this young Apatosaurus. She now moves, knowing that this is the mother of this young Apatosaurus. And mothers are, are pretty aggressive when it comes to their babies. She goes for something much simpler. Well, a nearby polycanthus. Not too, not too big, not too small. She quickly strikes. <laughs> Misjudging her, her weight. She quickly, she slide her, um, the spikes on the polycanthus quickly slip through her neck. <coughs> the polycanthus quickly tries to wiggle itself out, and it runs away. There's no luck for Fiona today. Well, as there's been a new character, well, there is another one. His name is Eon. He is an iguanodon. He's currently looking for a mate. He, had, he has no luck so far. Um, and plus, he has lost his pack. To who? Not to one arm. But another person that's on this island. But it's, it's still in a tight spot. His name is Sharptooth. He is a Spinosaurus. But currently... We figured out how these dinosaurs have been coming out of the come out coming out of nowhere. They've been coming out of these of the tree sap that we found in a large hole. So they've been frozen there. That should explain how they've survived and they're still here. So as as we all say, life always finds a way. Eon is lucky, because he's a main target of Sharptooth. And Sharptooth is still not free from the tree sap. Only Sharptooth's tail is out. Sharptooth is still in a tight spot. Eon has come to the north side, knowing that if he stays around, Sharptooth might be around. So, that's why he has come to here. It is almost spring. Well, that's kind of weird, but, you know, we might have come too late on the island. But we would have other times where it snows on the island. Eon has no luck for today. But he will search. He won't stop searching. Plus, he's... He's still... Young enough to survive some more years. That's if he can survive. But what these dinosaurs don't know is that there's grave danger at the corner. No one, if possible, will survive. The persons who will survive are epically the king that must be the island ruler. Oh, the legend.